So after that Indonesian success in the men's doubles, we turn our attention to women's singles once again. And coming up next, the world number one, Tai Su Ying of Chinese Taipei, up against the number five seed, Sun Ji Hyung. Well, as far as the women's singles draw is concerned, we had seven different nations involved at quarterfinal stage, two players from India, and the battle of the Indians has gone to Saina Nawal. She does love playing here in Istora Sanayan. Of course, she's been in the final of the Indonesian Open four times, winning it on three occasions. She's safely through. We watched Orachino Kintanon a little earlier today. They beat the current world champion, Nozomi Okuhara. And as you can see, the 2015 winner, Herbin Jiao, has won the battle of the left-handers, beating the former world champion, Carolina Marin. So just one more semi-final spot to be decided. And we're about to find out who that is. And will it be the world number one, Tai Su Ying, or Sung Ji Hyung of Korea? Number one, Tai Su Ying, making her second appearance at the Indonesia Masters. She played in the very first time this event was staged in 2010, and she reached the quarterfinal stage where she lost to a 15 year old Orachuda Kintanon. And this young lady back then was only 16 years of age. So, Sung Ji Hyung, number five seed from Korea. Didn't have the best of weeks last week. Sung Ji Hyung lost in the very first round. I thought she was the number six seed. Lost to Aya Uhori of Japan. So, our on par for this one. Wayana from Indonesia. Fabio Bato is the service judge. Well, it's a thinning of the ranks as far as the fans are concerned because after that last match, there was uh, a mass exodus. Last of the main home involvement. I think some of the fans are missing out because there's an all Indonesian mixed doubles quarterfinal and Indonesians involved in uh, women's doubles as well. But here we are, Tai Su Ying, 23 years of age, born in Kelshuang, and she is enjoying her 61st consecutive week as world number one. She is, the same, making her second appearance here. She had a good week last week, reached the final of the Malaysian Masters, but she had a real battle here in the opening game against Michelle Lee of Canada. She was 2016 up, had seven game points, but lost it, as you can see, 23-25. And then in the deciding game, she was 18-20 down, which means that she saved two match points before coming through yesterday's match against Lee Chia Sin, a much more convincing for the world number one, just 23 minutes for that second round match. So to her opponent, Sung Ji Hyung is 26 years of age now and currently number six in the world ranking. Has been as high as two, a total of three weeks as world number two. 
making her first appearance here Ready at this particular to tournament. And she has beaten two former champions. Busanan Ongbangorangpan from Thailand, who won in 2016. That was the last time this event was staged. And Nicharon Jindapon, who won the Thailand Masters a couple of weeks ago. Of course, she was not a former champion here, uh, Jindapon, but has been in good form of late. So Wayana, as I was telling you, are our umpire for this one, Fabio Beto, of Italy, the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tai Su Ying, China's Taipei. And on my left, Song Ji Yun, Korea. Song Ji Yun to Su, Loho, play. So the number five seat, Song Ji Hyang from Korea getting this quarterfinal underway against the world number one, Tai Su Ying. Tai Su Ying beaten in the final a week ago at the Malaysian Masters, having had so two match so point one, opportunities. One. And remarkably, it was her first loss in a final for over 14 months and nine consecutive finals. Nine consecutive finals won by Tai Su Ying. That was remarkable. But the loss last week, and perhaps that's will be extra incentive for her. Service over. This is the 26th oh. meeting between these two players. And Tai Su Ying has won 16 of the previous 25. But most importantly, she's won on the last seven occasions. Service over. Two, one. Oh, yes. Well, it was a couple of shots earlier than that that did all Four, the damage. One. Little hold and flick deep into the forehand corner of Sun Ji Hyung. the short lift service over and that's Two, when she had the opportunity five.
service over. Six, three. Seven, three. Just wide. Service over. Four, seven. Mm, I like that defence. Good rally. Yeah. Well, Tai Su Ying really did have a remarkable year last year. Won seven titles, six of them world ranking events, plus the World University Games. Her opponents. Sun Ji Hyun, for the first time in seven years, did not win a title. Last calendar year where she didn't win a title was 2010. So contrasting fortunes, although both of them very much in the mix of all the major tournaments. Sun Ji Hyun reached Nine, the final four. of the Indonesia Premier Super Series in this very arena. Struggling to twist and turn, Sanji Hyung. Ten, four. Service over. Five, ten. Oh, look at that. That's super. Oh, she just doesn't seem to be able to twist or turn or indeed change direction, Sung Ji Hyung. Left stranded. Service over seven eleven. Just wide. Well, certainly so far, I haven't really seen anything from Sanji Hyung that is really tactically, I think, going to hurt. Tai Su Ying. Oh, 
a look at that again. Yeah, well played. Tai Su Yin at her very best. 13 7. for it. Oh my goodness, how did she get that? What a rally. What a rally. Oh, what a pity it ended on an error. That was absolutely superb. Both players in trouble at one stage Seven. earlier on in the rally. Here. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, she misses. Oh, what an extraordinary, a deceptive cross court net shot. 14. Well, she's so adventurous in her style of play, Tai Su Ying. And if some of her shots, which she believes should be winners, keep coming back. Sometimes she can try and uh, do something even more outrageous, and that's when she starts making errors. Service so over. 50. 10. Outrageous in a good way, of course. It's wonderful to watch. You never know what's going to come next. It's over. 11, 50. Some fairly heavy strapping on that right knee, isn't there? Tai Su Ying. 16, 11. No, she's been playing a lot of badminton of late, towards the end of last year. Highly successful as well. And then chose to play a lucrative league. 11. Uh, hasn't had a, a break at all over the new year. could have had a break and those who choose 18, not to 11. but earn good money elsewhere away from the world tour well i don't think they can use tiredness or fatigue as any sort of an excuse they have the opportunity 19 
Two points away from the opening game, Tai Su Ying. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's great judgment too. Game point opportunities. 20, game point, 11. And he needed the one. First game won by Tai Su Ying. 21, 11. World number one, showing us why she is the world number one. Every shot imaginable. Great mover, wonderful fitness. And the opening game, 21, 11 in just 14 minutes. She actually changed her shoes. 20 seconds. Oh, just re adjusting and re tying that same seconds. shoe. Wasn't really sure. Second game, love all, play. So the world number one on game to the good, 21-11. Now what can Sung Ji Hyung do in response? Over. One, love. Well, it's been a good week for Korean sport in general, hasn't it? Chung Hyun in the semi-final of the Australian Open men's singles, probably as I speak, against Roger Federer. The Olympics, Winter Olympics coming up imminently. Sunny Sova, one all. That's gone long. Sunny Sova, three, two. Sunny Sova, three, oh. Yeah, 
she knows she's got to be careful from this near side Sammy of the Sola. court. Lifting Four, the shuttle, the lensways drift, shuttle flying faster, going towards that far side of the court as we look down. Finds the line. Oh, there's a challenge. First challenge of this women's singles. Now, I'm not in a particularly good position to see that line. But from where I was sitting, it looked good. But Hawkeye will tell us. Indeed, it was good. So that's a challenge gone in this second game. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Five, three, play. Mr. Say, three. Four straight points. Oh, that's a good clear from there. Oh, my goodness. She was way, way out of position, Tai Su Ying. Eight, three. Uh, she had to guess and she went scampering across court and Sung Ji Hyung went and missed it. Oh, string's gone. Oh, yeah, she knew it. Still good defence from Tai Su Ying. Nine, three. Six straight points now for Tai Su Ying. Tai Su Ying, the distinction of being the first women singles player ever to contest three finals at the Super Series finals. Won it twice. Tell you that the body language of Sung Ji Hyung, and they were looking at our opponent, but Sung Ji Hyung, after that rally, was looking very dispirited indeed. Yes, guess right again, Tai Su Ying. Oh, that's delightful. Sung Ji Hyung is doing all the reacting. She's not being proactive at all, just having to react to whatever her opponent is throwing at her. And this is now eight straight points to the mid-game interval. Three all it was. Seconds. Park Tae Sung one, has an awful lot of work seconds. to do here with his player.
11, 3. Play. straight points. Ten straight points. What on earth is going on with some Ji Hyun? Thirteen three. Yep, finds the line. Well, not a lot and more 14, most players can do against three. a shot like that. Now, when you consider of the previous 25 encounters between these two players, 13 of them have gone to three games. This is a little too one-sided. No doubt she's trying. Three. It's just not happening for her today. Couple with the fact that Tai Su Ying looks to be brimming with confidence. 16-3. Well, finally, the run comes to an end. 16. That's 13 straight points. One suspects that has determined the outcome of this quarterfinal. Already a game up. Service over, 17, 5. Well, this is one of the matches I was very much looking forward to. I didn't expect it to be so one-sided. I did feel very much that Tai Su Ying, having won the last seven 18, encounters between these two, five. was probably favourite to win, but I didn't think it'd be like this. Service over. 6 18. 2015 winner, left handed Her Bing Jiao, awaits the winner of this one. One is tame resistance from Sung Ji Hyang. Service over. 19 6. Just toying with her now. Class above 20, today, Tai Su Ying. And a whole host of match point opportunities. Oh, it's from Hunt. Sunny Sober. 7 20. Time of 
asking. And the match is won by Tai Su Ying. 21-11, 21-8 in just under 30 minutes of play. Match won by Tai Su Ying, 21 well, She really wasn't in it at all, was she, Sun Ji Hyung? Disappointing for her and disappointing for the fans. Yeah, that movement looks strained, doesn't it? Always seem to be under pressure. Half a yard slower to the shuttle than her opponent. But all credit to the world number one, Tai Su Ying. Safely through to the semi-final stage. Two straight games, 21-11, 21-8.